Good morning everyone and welcome to the Slug Club TLSQ. I know this game is mostly about fan service but did anyone really want this? I mean I'm interested sure I haven't read any data mine but still did anyone want this? Sorry I'm like a whole day late with this TLSQ. I could have done it yesterday but I had to go to college and the teachers in my college really decided how to waste as much time as possible. And my first class is always taken by the most annoying creature on the planet. All she has done this entire semester is take one class and then give an absurd amount of assignments that that there is no way I can finish. I'm exhausted and want to sleep. So I'm already telling you this might be edited little less. This might be edited less just with cuts and well, the energy sections are being skipped immediately as long as they're not interesting, which most of them are. This is uh, not going to be great in terms of editing, but I think the TLSQ could actually be interesting. It's just that I wonder if this like the TL is this TLSQ even worth existing? But then again, a lot of TLSQs aren't, so it's not really a question to be asked. Slug Club, welcome to the Slug Club. I don't want to be part of the Slug Club. <laughs> the Hollyhead Harpies come to Hogwarts, none other than Gwenog Jones. Oh, we met her earlier. Will ask you to help her locate her old potions suppressor or a slug horn. Why are you asking a child to do this again? If you do, you may as well, uh, you may very well earn an invite to his elite out of our social club, as well as a new outfit and unique car glass pendant. It just doesn't seem right. But then again, MC being Mary, so I think <laughs> the whole slug club. Wait, you get the dress at part four? What is the point of getting to the slug club if you get the dress after that? I don't have any clothes to wear. I'm literally going with my basic favorite dress. Also, if Barnaby isn't in the stairs as you like in the promos, then I'm just going to be very disappointed. You haven't heard the big news? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with... Wait, let me think about that. Think about your right, love. Barnaby has been a bit of an idiot in the last week, given that he was sitting laughing with my father. You talked to Andre? He said he was looking for you. Oh yeah, Andre is the one who called us here. Rula, what do you want? It's so annoying when everyone else is excited about what I'm excited about. You would think that's a good thing. Rula is just annoyed by everything. Andre, hello. Hi, Andre. That's something you wanted to tell me. Ah. Honestly, I can't believe you haven't heard already. Ah. It's the most exciting thing since Muggles started wearing turtlenecks. I hate turtlenecks, honestly. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll admit you've made me curious. Ah. You're going to love it, Sarahi. It's the perfect thing for Kurdish players like us. Ah. Everyone's talking about it, so I'll gather our friends and we can tell you at the the big news together. Just tell me the thing. Oh my god, the frame rate is gone. Guys, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, this is literally how all the characters move. But like from Jam City, it's just expected at this point. But Pokemon, you made this beautiful game and then it is plagued with so many graphical bugs and performance issues. Oh my god, I can't play that game without it giving me a headache. And that's the thing I really want to. I have been avoiding all the videos about it. I want to play it without spoilers. See, even Barnaby has his frame rate fixed now. All the Kodish teams go out or... I don't know, I don't care. Uh, the greatest Kodish team... Yeah, yeah, Hollyhead Harpies. We know from the opening. Skip, skip. Wait, I set up my controls. I hope the spacebar is working now. Blimey, the Hollyhead Harpies are coming to Hogwarts for a special exhibition. Oh. Spacebar works! Spacebar works, ladies and gentlemen. I want to go back to bed. Yes, their most impressive players will showcase their rare talents and spectacular maneuvers. Of course, my favorite team is the Pride of Poetry, but the Hollyhead has some of Quidditch's best. Ah. Like Gwenog Jones. Gwenog Jones, I haven't seen her since she helped us plan, plan the relay and save the Dragon Club. Oh yeah, that's when we met her. Ah. For someone so new to the league, she's already one of the greats. This is an opportunity to see all of her skills. Exhibitions are these are a, a right spectacle, but they're also a chance to study new maneuvers. Ah. Plus, you might be even be lucky enough to talk to a few of the players. I'm starting to understand why everyone's so excited. <sighs> exactly, but what about you? What are you most excited for? Enjoying this podcast, studying maneuvers, or talking to the coach players? Studying? Nah, I think I'm actually more excited. To, I would like. I would be more excited to talk. Yeah. It's not every day that some of the league's best players come to Hogwarts. I hope I get to chat to them. I knew why you. I knew you would understand why this exhibition is so special. Oh my god! Lucky for me, my parents sent me two VIP passes. I'll have the best seats in the house and I'll get to meet the team in the locker room after the game. And I'd like you to join me. Oh, that's very nice of you, Andre. Well, it's weird. You want me to sit with you in the VIP section? Ah. Honestly, in any other part, 
on any other time i would assume like this is asking asking you on a date of course you've been a good friend all these years and you're one of my favorite quidditch players so now he isn't even a quidditch player at this point quidditch is over thank you andre i'd love to ah. really and the exhibition starts soon so we better hurry i need to pick out my outfit first but i need to pick out my outfit too i'm so bored of this dress i love this dress but i just like wearing different outfits in tlsqs i let you know when i'm ready and we can meet our meet at our vip seats in the quidditch stands i can't read this is quick answer guys answer a quick question do you guys like my videos better when i skip the energy sections or when i give commentary in the energy sections of course if the energy sections has interesting dialogue going on at the side then i'm going to keep it but uh, sometimes i just prefer to skip it because everything that is said during an energy section is always repeated so do you guys just want me to skip them or do you want me to keep them just tell me in the comments what the hell is this chapter name guys like no no one is that desperate to see slughorn i need a full sleeve outfit it's winter and it just looks weird if i'm not wearing a full sleeve outfit what the hell is wrong with the cursed child robes they look fine on my phone i'd wear this if it was still summer but it's not the thing that has gotten complicated about me picking out an outfit is the fact that i always want to be wearing the bracelet barnaby gave me so uh, it's hard to find an outfit that's full sleeved and still allows that to be seen i want to wear this but it is weird to wear something so skimpy when it's winter there has to be something better than this right nope this is reserved for the main story yeah i know i kid you not i scrolled for 10 minutes i could not find a single dress i was satisfied with oh my god andre put on his date clothes and everything all right fine but this dress is my last resort i might i reserve the right to change later i won these vip tickets from no call in radio program and i'm just so happy i've never won anything in my life oh that's sweet i'm always curious to see what new maneuvers these slight these sprightly could spears come up with okay down in front the exhibition is soon to begin okay 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 hi sarai i'm sorry if i made us late for the quidditch exhibition na nah, i'm sure it's fine i'm pretty sure i'm the one who took long there mm. i had to pick out the perfect outfit and it took much longer than i expected bro believe me i understand <laughs> but there's still a lot of spectacular players to see you can't beat these seats andre thanks for sharing your vip passes with me you were looking forward to talking to players well from where we're sitting they'll be within your shot ah. I can even see the beads of sweat on the. Never mind. It's Quinnock Jones. Hello. <clears throat> I hope we get to see. I mean, I say hello later. That's not average happy, Andre. That's Quinnock Jones. Ah. You're right, and looks like she's up next. Ah. I'm so glad we didn't miss her. She never disappoints. Wait, she's about to start. It's time to enjoy the show. If it's this energy section, I want to skip it. But what is she doing? I'm pretty sure she has better things to do than just entertain the masses here. I mean, it is an exhibition. What am I? What am I talking about? I have been recording for nearly 30 minutes, and most of that was just me trying to pick out an outfit. Oh, well, that was cool. Merlin's wand. She opened with a starfish and stick, but the rest was too fast to identify. Yeah, it was so fast that the game lagged. Incredible. No wonder everyone turned out in droves. Every seat in the stadium is filled. It's really quite a turnout. Well, all of them except that one. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. I was just noticing that myself. It looks like she. It's. It, it looks like it's reserved. But who is such a good seat at a quick exhibition? Only to skip it. <laughs> that is so mean. You could read the note next, attached next to it and find out. <clears throat> Bro, you're sitting there, Andre. Read the note yourself. The note says reserved by Gwynog Jones for the head of the Slug Club. The seat was reserved by Gwynog Jones herself. Hmm. Ah, the famous Slug Club. Have you heard of them, Sarahi? I think it's a club for slugs. <laughs> I want to say that too, so right? Yeah, let me go with the bar with the answer. The Slug Club. It sounds like it's a club for slugs. No, no. The Slug Club was an out of hours group for of, uh, of elite Hogwarts students. It was named after its founder, former prof potions professor Horace Slughorn, uh, known for his lavish dinner parties. So this must be Slughorn's seat. Perhaps he's around here somewhere. <gasps> well, it's bad. I knew today was going to be special, but I had no idea just how special. What do you mean, Andre? Uh... Everyone in the Slug Club was a Hogwarts student once. Slughorn, inf uh, Slughorn formed it while he was here. Uh... If he's come for the exhibition, it could mean big things for us, Curse Breaker. Really? Good. Of course, almost every slug club member has gone to be a prominent witch officer. Not only did they enjoy these lavish dinners, but being a member seems to be 
I can't read. It seems to pretty much guarantee success. I don't think so. Huh. And Slughorn handpicks each member of the Slug Club himself based on his impressions of them. I see. I think that if he might, if he meets Slughorn, he might invite us to join the Slug Club. Look, if Bad Boy is in it, I'm not interested. Huh. Think about it. You're one of the most impressive students at Hogwarts, he says. Also, the most chaotic one. Huh. Yeah, and you have to admit, I stand out too. Both as a Quidditch player and sheer style alone. True. Mm. I think it's fair that uh, to say we have a shot. We just have to figure out where Slughorn is. Guys, come on. Can you not? For like five minutes, I suppose he could be anywhere. I I don't I don't care, man. But if Goodock just reserves the seat for him, perhaps he's gone somewhere to meet up. Huh. Of course. Huh. He's probably in the locker room waiting for the team right now. Huh. If we hurry to the locker room, perhaps Goodock will introduce us to Harry Slughorn. Look, okay, look. The man is interesting to meet, but can we not think about the club for like five minutes? It's not really worth it. Oi, hi. Huh. Hi, Goodock. Hello. Looks like he made it just in time. There's Gunnar Jones. Uh, I wonder if she'll remember us. Huh. And if you were right, and Horace Logan's here too, I that proves that my suggestion that was your suggestion. Now that chance to make a good impression. You'll see. For now, only see Gunnar. Let's say hi first. Let's say hi. Hello. Hello there, Mr. Ego and Miss Silvers. Hello. How have you been? Make any statues lately? No. Thankfully. We've been trying to be a bit more careful. It's honestly really stupid. It's like McGonagall really be like, how dare you break a statue while dueling in the club that is meant for dueling? We're huge fans. We were a little late to the exhibition, but we arrived in time to see you. Glad to hear it. I've been working on that combination for a long time. From where we were seated, it looked effortless. Takes a lot of effort to seem that effortless, bro. The truth in that sentence. Well, that reminds me, if you were in the VIP seats, you must have been seated near uh, Professor Slughorn. Well, we saw the seat we reserved for him, but he wasn't in it. Actually, we thought we'd find him back here. That's what I was afraid of. I haven't seen him anywhere. I don't think he came. Afraid of? Do you mean something's wrong? I'm not sure, but I won't bother you with it. After all, you're here to have fun with the famous good old Jones. That, that, that is. Not listen to her nervous theories. It's all right, good old. Can tell us what's on your mind. Yeah, we're practically old friends by now. Your worry is our worry. That's true, honestly. If you don't want to know, I tell you. Quirog is sweetie. But to be honest, it'll be good to talk it through with someone. I'm not sure what to think. It, the, the problem is that those that someone ends up being children. But then again, I think we're also like 19 at this point. And I think Quirog says at some point she is also uh, right now uh, as of now fresh out of Hogwarts. So at most she's like two years older than us, two or three years. Professor Slughorn never misses a match. He's a huge Quidditch fan. Cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, our teacher gave me an scares an absurd amount of assignments. Like it's so bad. She gives us assignments like we have nothing else to do with our lives, and while most of them are useless and I want to burn them in hell, there is only one of those assignments that I actually find useful and will be putting an effort in, and that is making a character sheet. I am actually making adult Sarahi a character sheet because it allows me to not ju- not just get my homework done. It also allows me to just uh. Hash out a design for Sarahi as an adult. Have you guys seen the data mine profits? They've begun find. Uh, they've begun. They, the data miners have begun to find models for our adult friends. I am very curious to see how that will be able to look. Penny came out recently. Uh, yesterday's data mine profit when this TLC actually came out. Penny was revealed. Pe- adult Penny. Oh God, she looks so cute. Penny looks cute again. Like she. It's just that the fact that. People are complaining about this, but the fact of the matter is that our friends, in their adult form, look almost the same as their child form, just bigger. But I think like that's fine. Like these people are fresh out of Hogwarts; they don't need to look that much different. They've just become adults after being kids for you know many years. So the fact that they look so similar to their child form is actually really good. Penny has still got the same hairstyle; it's just that one braid is in the front and one braid is in the back. Other than that, her hairstyle is same. Same with Kiara, same with Badia. They look the same but bigger. So I like the new adult models. People don't like Andre's adult design either, and I'm like, Andre has never looked more gay, and I love that for him. Slay King, slay. He looks so good as an adult. Oh my god. Perhaps now you can understand why I'm worried. Slough and never misses a match. After years away, I was sure he'd be thrilled to visit Hogwarts again. But perhaps I'm overthinking it. What do you say, Silver? Should I be worried? I'm sure he's fine. 
I'm sure he's fine for now. He's a powerful wizard after all. That's true. I appreciate a rosy outlook. Look, it's all I've got going in my life. I just wish I knew for certain that he was all right. I have to check in on him, but I have another exhibition. Ah. Perhaps we can help. Ah. Literally, none of this has anything to do with me. We're not strangers to mystery. Answer is a world class girl. Bro, I can barely break curse. Never mind. Honestly, if there was any way to know Slughorn is all right, it would uh, put my mind at ease. There's a chance he's possibly fine, in which case I'm sure he'd be thrilled to meet you both. So it's a win-win, an unacceptable outcome in Quidditch, uh, but a pretty decent one otherwise. <laughs> Consider this on the case, Gunnar. How can we get started? I need to think about that a bit. It could get complicated. I'll tell you what. Give me some time to pack up, then meet me on the Quidditch pitch. Yes, thank you. We need an adult. Together, we'll figure out a plan to make sure everything's all right to place a slug on. Yeah, let's not give this just to the children to do. I I need an adult. Ah, I, I oh my god. The like I said, the adult characters look so good. Jam City, please put in an effort with adult MC and make them look pretty as well. Give us like all the outfits, like scale them properly. I know you're scaling outfits and like scale all of them. The dress that is currently in the Magical Mind Stalls, the cottage comfort. I really want that scale. I really want to put adult Sarahi in that. It's so cute. Honestly, my the adult Sarahi concept I'm working on right now in the character sheet. It looks very similar to the cottage comfort dress, just with different colors. Because of course it's Sarahi. There needs to be purple in the dress. I don't mind that there isn't any purple in the dress in game, but I'm gonna put purple in it in my run. So Jam City, I beg thee, put in an effort with adult MC as well. You have made our friends look so cute. Please make the others look cute too. Please make MC also look cute. Please, please, please. I really, I can't honestly. As much as I hate the fact that this game is going beyond year seven. By the way, they call it year eight. As much as I hate that, I am. Kind of excited for the adult characters. See, I already started ignoring Jam City's canon when Rowan died, and Rake Pick was ended up responsible for that. So I already started ignoring canon. So Jam City can do whatever the frick they wanna do. I'm just going to ignore it anyway. So um, may as well play the game and just have fun with the nonsense. I can't believe the one of Jones wants our help. You can finally repay her by helping us save the Dragon Club. Ah. Plus, now that she's asked us to make sure Slughorn is all right, we'll definitely get to meet him. When he has all you've done to help him in Kunok, he should invite us in the Slug Club, right? It's not guaranteed, bro. Let's take things one step at a time. There's no guarantee we'll get an invite. I suppose you're right. Best to keep our minds on the task at hand and hope for the best. Yeah, that's better. Speaking of which, here comes Kunok. I don't know why I would have the urge to eat popcorn. Cheers, you two. Thanks for agreeing to help me figure out why Slughorn didn't come to our exhibition. If I didn't have another one to get to, I could look into this myself. But I'll feel a lot better knowing someone's checking in on him. We're happy to help, you know, especially after you help us contain that rogue bludgeon and restore the Dragon Club. Now tell us where you can find Slughorn, and we'll come up with a plan to put our mind at ease. God damn it! I don't want to. Just tell me the plan. By the way, if the guy doesn't have an address, then I guess it's a hard to get a hold of him. All right, since you don't know where Slughorn is at the moment, our first time we'll be tracking him. Haba, haba. Okay. Why am I supposed to do that? I am a child. If you know an old slug club member with connections in the ministry, perhaps he can help us. I'm sure he can. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he's quite powerful, and he'll know what to do if there's trouble. If you trust him to help us out, we'll be happy to meet him. Huh. Yeah, just point us in the right direction, and we'll uh, get started. I have to say, I'm glad you feel that way. Not everyone's that excited uh, at the idea of teaming up with Lucius Malfoy. Ah, Lucius Malfoy, isn't that bloke a bit of a blockhead? <laughs> He misplaced his wanted Hogwarts once, and he was quite rude to both Dumbledore and Dobby about it. Really think he can help us? Lucius holds significant influence with uh, many important witches and wizards. He will know how to find Slughorn if Slughorn is to be found. Didn't one at one point in the movie, Harry and Dumbledore find him disguised as a chair? What was that about? I don't remember what what movie that was and why that happened. Like Dumbledore was trying to get him to come back to Hogwarts, he said no, but then he said yes. It was kind of a, it was a funny scene, but I just don't remember the context. If you think he can help us find Slughorn, we'd be happy to talk to Malfoy. No, we won't. Right, but before you do, you should come up with a strategy of approach. I mean, it is Malfoy. Lucius can be a bit delicate. Come on, too strong, and he may shy away. That's a good point. I've seen his short fuse firsthand. Before you talk to Lucius, you might want to talk to someone who knows him better than I do. His son. That way you can get a few pointers. All right, but who would that be? Don't say Snape. Don't say Snape. 
तेज कड्डा मिट फाइन फाइन लेट्स गेट दिस ओवर विद विद द हेल्प ऑफ लूसियस मार्फो यू फाइन आउट जर्नी टेकिंग एन एक्सपेक्टेड टर्न डू द लूसियस मार्फो व्हाट आर यू एक्सपेक्टिंग टेल मी इन द कमेंट्स आर एनी ऑफ यू पीपल प्लेइंग पोकेमोन स्कारलेट एंड वायलेट व्हिच वन डिड यू पिक डू यू लाइक द गेम हाउ मेनी ग्लिचेस हैव यू एनकाउंटर्ड प्रोफेसर आई वाज होपिंग यू एंड आई कुड हैव अ वर्ड आई एम क्वाइट बिजी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माय नेक्स्ट क्लास इन सिल्वर्स due to the incompetence of your cohort i have to plan a review of what could be a simpler question but if one ingredient is our stinking solution can be quite poisonous and you lot seem to have a death wish see the fact of the matter is that i pretty much do have a death wish a death wish means i don't have to go to college anymore and deal with the most annoying creatures on the planet i only need a bit of advice sir when up jones asked me to talk to lucius malfoy on her behalf i met him before but he was in the most pleasant of interactions When I suggested I talk to someone who knows him well so I can figure out the best way to approach him, I heard the two of you were close. That was certainly good advice from Miss Jones. You see, and I were close enough for me to know a wizard like you won't get far with him on your own. Then will you help me? Did you hear what I just said? I'm busy. Okay, then give me the pointers. And perhaps I could help you first. When I while I do, you could tell me a bit about two years my friend. I suppose I could make you fetch me ingredients. At least then you'd be out of my way. Huh? I don't know that. That remains to be seen. What is happening? But if but if you don't screw this up, I might be able to give a bit of advice on how to approach Lucius. I'm already losing interest. It sounds like the best way to approach Lucius is to be brief, direct, and complimentary. This is a pain. Are you still blabbing on about Lucius? We're finished here. Go on. But I'm not sure where to go. Perhaps you know where I. Of course I do. But before I send an underachieving student to someone as busy as Lucius Malfoy, I must know why is it so important for you to find him. Andre, but I love you. But for this, Gwen of Jones asked for my help, and I don't want to let her down. I'm just glad to hear you're not bothering him on some childish fancy. Lucius can often be found in Diagon Alley when he's not at home. He likes to visit the shops there. Okay, that's kind of cute. Now go on. Of course, and thank you, sir. I'm after. Yeah, yeah. He. I don't think he cares, sir. Honestly, I have yet to meet a teacher who is as nice as like Professor Flitwick or Professor Sprout. Most of the teachers I've met in my life have been about as useless and no, so okay, not useless. Have been about as horrible as Snape. I have not really met a good teacher. I have. I have. In fact, I like I'm saying, but they've been very rare. I've like three maybe. Children must be the start of school year again. Or are you playing hooky? What the hell is playing hooky? It sounds wrong, and I don't want to think about it. I like to be alone in my thoughts, so uh, leave me. Okay. Oh, Dobby. Dobby must attend to the packages, Miss. He mustn't be caught chatting, Miss. Why is my cat here, Adrian? Why are you here? That's my cat. Thanks for talking to Bruce Snape for us, Curse Breaker. Oh, I was supposed to change my outfit. Never mind. You know, I like to avoid it whenever I can. Now that we know how to approach Lucius, you might find out where Slughorn is and make sure he's all right. You just need to be brief and work in a competent way. Can I call him to Snape? That should do it. Uh, then we can learn why Slughorn missed the exhibition at Hogwarts and report back to Gwenno. Ah. We should get in. Bra, calm down. Perhaps, but for now it looks like Professor Snape was right. Here comes Mister. Here comes Mister. Smart friend Dobby. I miss Dobby. Mister. Malfoy, can we have a word? Oh look, it's Lysel Silvers. Hi, dear ones. Everyone, don't want them to go missing. Dude, sh shut the frick up. I did not take that. You left that one in the courtyard, and you know it. Perhaps, or perhaps that was a convenient story for a dishonest thief. Only time will tell. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, now if we're done wasting my time, I'll be on my way. Wait, Gwenok sent us to ask you something important. We're fans of yours, and we just wanted to have a brief word. Fans, I suppose I do have a moment. But I find it hard to believe that Miss Jones was associated with students of your unremarkable reputation. See, according to her, we do in fact have a remarkable reputation. The truth is, she said only a visit as powerful and connected as you could help us find Horace Slughorn. I see. And what would two young Hogwarts students want with Horace Slughorn? Perhaps you hope to pester him about the Slug Club, like so many of the uninitiated. Now this isn't about the Slug Club. Like now this isn't about the Slug Club. Andre, shut up. <laughs> We're doing a favor for Gwenog. <laughs> she's looking for him because she's worried he might be in trouble. Speak for yourself, Curse Breaker. Huh? Andre, shut up. I want to help Gwenog, but I'm also dying to attend one of those lavish dinners Slughorn used to throw. 
I'm sure the two of you are bright enough to understand the Slug Club is an extremely exclusive society. Only Hogwarts is best and brightest are invited. Yeah, Skype broke like I try can we talk about this kid? It doesn't mean for young students to go begging for inclusion in societies they had have not expressed interest. Oh my god. See, I try usually I would like to use the throw hands, but I want to get this over with as soon as possible. You can throw hands later, okay? If you're trying to say you don't have a chance of being invited to join the slug club, I wouldn't be so sure. Says the decision traditionally belongs to Professor Slughorn, so we'll just have to talk to him. And if you won't help us, we'll find him on our own. I'm only hoping to save you the disappointment, but if you insist on wasting his time, I'd be delighted to help you on your path. You would? Of course, listen closely. I'll tell you everything you need to know. You just, I just need to know where he is so we can uh, end this conversation as soon as possible. The Laughing Guru is a small hidden gem of a restaurant. I see. Laughing Oh, that sounds like such a cute name. A restaurant is a fairly has fairly reliable habits. I see. Those look quite heavy. Most days you'll find someone at his favorite restaurant. Okay, fair. I I I know enough. So now you know where to find Professor Slughorn. Since he spends most of his free time at the Laughing Burrow, you'll likely find him there. But I've never heard of a restaurant called the Laughing Burrow. Perhaps you know it by its nickname. The patrons call it the Burrow for short. Oh yes, that sounds. So burrow is Burrow. It's quite a trendy spot, very discreet. If you hurry, I'm sure you'll find Slughorn there preparing for his next meal. In fact, I'll give you a pinch of flu powder and you can use the chimney in the leaky cauldron to travel. Feel free to mention my name and I'm sure the bartender will oblige. Ah. Brilliant! Thanks, Mr. Malfoy. Being surprisingly helpful. Do you have anything to say, Miss Silvers? Not to you know. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help, sir. Just be polite. Be polite. It's my pleasure. Now hurry along. I'm sure you'd be sad to miss Horace. Bye bye, Dobby. Ah. Hope you get free in the next few years. As soon as we have a lead on Hollis Slughorn's location, so let's hop to it. Let's head to the Leaky Cauldron and use that chimney to travel to the founder of the Slug Club. Doesn't explain why he would miss Quidditch though if he's such a big fan. What's a witch got to do to get a drink around here? Order one. You actually have to talk to the waiter to order one or maybe go to the counter. But one of those things you have to do. Everyone's so impatient but I'm happy to wait. I don't think anyone is actually happy to wait. Are you taking orders? Can I get a little help? No, I am a child. By the way, we I need this braid for adult Sarahi. I need this braid. Sarahi wears, wears a braid as an adult. Oh, I need it. I need that braid. Why is it so crowded, brother? I mean, this place is packed. Huh. You're right. Let's find the bartender and get permission to use that chimney fast. Huh. Then we can travel to the Laughing Burrow and find Sarahi before he's gone. Where is the bartender? Oh. Excuse me, sir. We were wondering if... Not now, too busy to talk. Mm. When will be out of your way in no time, sir. We only wanted to ask. Mm, I said too busy to talk, but for some reason you're still talking. Mrs. Smallpaw sent us. Oh, he did, did he? Hmm. In that case, I've got half a second for you. I recommend using that time to persuade me that I should bother listening to you. Dear Lord. But how can we persuade you if you won't listen to us? Good point. Here's an idea. Writing up. God damn it. MC, stop offering to do everybody else's job for them. Stop it! I think it should be illegal to ask random children for help like this. Nice job you do. Things seem to be under control. Now you were saying something about wanting to say something. Yes, Lucius Malfoy told us you could use your fireplace to travel to a place called the Laughing Burrow. Ah. Or the Burrow for short. Hmm. What is it sir? Just never heard of a restaurant by that name. But it's not like I can keep track of every restaurant in England. I barely have time to bust my own tables. Now you can use my fireplace if you must but you'd better hurry up before I change my mind. You are the man curse breaker into that fireplace. Mm. At this point, I am not exactly sure what to expect, but it's not like we have any other leads. I suppose you're right. We'll stick together, keep our guards up, and hope for the best. <laughs> and with just a pinch of flu powder, it's time to travel to the Buru. Wait, say the laughing Buru. If you just say Buru, you might get travel. You might accidentally travel to. the burrow. We don't want that. Oh, guys, I told you to say the laughing burrow, not the burrow. Hmm, how strange. This is the Weasley's burrow. We went to the wrong burrow. Uh. The burrow looks just like the burrow. That's because it is the burrow, Andre. Mm -hmm. Sir, hey, what are you doing here? 
It was an accident. We've been looking for her, Isla Khan, on behalf of Kunal Jones. The accident came to the bar. Mrs. Malpa, we told him we we told us we'd find him in a place called the Laughing Burrow. Said the restaurant was called the Burrow for short, so that's what we said when we used the flu powder. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of a place called the Laughing Burrow. Okay, no, seriously, did that man just make stuff up? Why does I'm sure you mentioned that thing name sounds awful like like the Burrow, <laughs> which is precisely where you are. But I'm sad to say, if you're looking for Isla Khan, this is probably the last place you would find him. Really? Why is that, Mrs. Seriously? Slavon was never a fan of mine or Arthur's, which is fine because we were never a fan of his. The same has always been true of Lucius, for that matter. A bit of a snob, if you ask me. Understandable. Have a great day. But don't worry, I'll go check on that on the little ones upstairs, and I can help you get back to Hogwarts. I suppose I should have seen this coming. <laughs> But it doesn't make any sense. Why would Lucius send us here on purpose? And if so, why? Mm. I think it's clear what's going on. It is. Absolutely, I'll lay out my theory, and you can tell me what you think. Then we can decide what to do next. Did he just really make stuff up? What was the point? Also, I think it's really our part to. We should have said laughing burrow, not just burrow. Not sure if it's a real place or not, but that would have made more sense. So you think Lucy is sabotaging us because he doesn't want us to meet Slughorn? Clearly, there's no such thing as the laugh burrow. He sent us there because he doesn't think we're good enough to join the slug club. <sighs> I don't think we're good enough to join the slug club. How about that? Mm. To be honest, in a weird way, it's a compliment. As the proud. What is with Andre's obsession, man? Ha. It means that Lucy thinks if we, it means that Lucy thinks if we meet Met Slug Club, we definitely get an invitation to join the slug club. That is so backhanded. That is a weird compliment. Ha. It seems to me that Lucy is attracted to us because we're closer than ever to getting an invitation. But what do you think? Do you think Lucy sabotages us so we wouldn't get? I disagree. Look, 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 look. Yes, he made stuff up, but I disagree. It's not certain. We don't know what happened, Andre, or why. It could have been an accident. Or if Lucius did sabotage us, it could have he could have sabotaged us for an entirely different reason. That man's just a this man's just an evil anyway. I guess you're right, but if we know for certain, we could find Slug One. Only now, Mrs. V is sending us back to Hogwarts. That's fine. At the state, we'll never find Slug One. We we'll let down Quinnock, and we'll never get an invitation to the Slug Club. The bro, the other obsession. I think that's a good thing. Not necessarily, mm-hmm. but cause we're we're about to be sent back to school with no leads. That's true, but we might be able to find out more answers about Hogwarts than you think. Slughorn taught alongside our professors for years before retiring. They must know him fairly well. Perhaps one of them has some information that could point us in the right direction. Ah. Right, me, you're right. Ah. As soon as we get back to Hogwarts, we'll find a professor who knew Slughorn well, except Snape. Ah. Anyone but Snape. Perhaps he even left them a forwarding address. You could start with Professor Flitwick. He's always eager to help when he can. Huh. But then there's still hope. Huh. I need to go and again update her on our lack of progress. You go talk to Professor Flitwick and let me know if you learn anything that points to Slughorn's whereabouts. I'm changing out of this dress. Just looking at it makes me feel cold. After an unexpected detour, you and Andre seek help from a few familiar places. You soon find yourself back on Slughorn's scent. <laughs> That sounds so wrong. <laughs> So obviously, because we have plot armor, we will get invited to the slug club. It's just that, will we have earned it? Hi, Penny. Have you seen Professor Fredwick? Looking for information about a former former potions professor, Professor Slughorn. <laughs> I heard, in fact, Professor Fredwick asked me to talk with you. Apparently, Professor Fredwick and Professor Slughorn were never very close. <laughs> But I know a bit about Professor Slughorn. You do? Yeah, I study up on the processes of each subject I take, past and present. You never can be too prepared. <laughs> I'll admit I was curious to hear why you're interested in Professor Slughorn. His he his was an unexpected departure. Well, and all I really need to know is where I might find him. Any ideas? Oh, uh, is something wrong, Penny? All the research I've done on Slughorn was about his time here. I'm not sure what's become of him since. Ah, I see. I see. But when you read about his time here, did you read anything about the Slug Club? <laughs> There's a ton of information on the Slug Club. It was a fairly private group. <laughs> However, I did find a list of members written in some marginalia of a completely unrelated book. That's it, Penny. Perhaps there's another member of the Slug Club who can help me locate Slughorn. Let's discuss all the members. You know, I bet one of them can help me point in, help point me in the right direction. Oh my God! The thing is, this I'm already on the third part. I've only been recording for an hour. This might be a fairly short TLSQ. If Ambrosius, Ambrosius, who? What? If Ambrosius Flume was a member of the Slug Club, there's a chance he's still in contact with Slughorn. And since I saved the Hogsmeade Festival from being cancelled, I'm sure Mr. Flume would be willing to help. He's much nicer than Lucius Malfoy. I'll say that much. 
Of course. That's not even a comparison. Of course he will. And perhaps I can come with you. I'd like to pick up a few treats for later. Honey Dukes is the best after all. Then let's settle. We'll head to Honey Dukes see now and see if Mr. Toon can point me to Slughorn. This is taking too long. Why is everywhere so packed today? What is going on? Whenever I walk by Honey Dukes, it's empty. But the day I choose to shop here, a crowd. Yeah, I don't understand. No time to talk. I've got to reach the taste. Of course, Mr. Rogers Toon is not going to talk to us when there's so many customers. Bro's gonna help me. Perhaps I'll help myself. Just don't eat anything before you buy it. Why is everywhere crowded? What is going on? Lamy, I've never seen Honey Duke so crowded. Me neither. Yes, customers love confectionaries, and Honey Duke has it all. Flume, just the sweet shop owner we're looking for. Yes, it's me. Hello, Mr. Flume. Now, if you'll forgive me, I've got to freshen the flush fries. We were hoping we might have a minute to discuss your old potions with Mr. Hot Slughorn, but I see you're busy. Any idea what he's been up to lately? I'd love nothing more than to stand around talking about Hot Slughorn all day, but I really must be going. Come back next week, perhaps. Hopefully, things have calmed down by then. <laughs> At least he's nicer about it. Well, that didn't go well. Not exactly as you'd hoped, no. I'm sorry, Sarahi. If he's asked us to come later, I'm not sure what more we can do. We could help. Last box of black pepper imps. Fess up! It was someone in this crowd. I'm certain of it. Where did the disembodied arm come from? I bet if we find that thief, whom will be appreciative, he'll help us. But we have no idea who it was. Then we start searching. How? The thing is, I don't see any weird NPCs, so I I can't tell who it is. By the way, black pepper imps. Those sound. I don't know if that's candy or you there by the black pepper imp. We need to ask you a few questions. Huh? <sighs> These imps are mine. It's the thief. He's getting away. Stop him. He's moving left and right. I'm not looking. Identified the thief and you stopped him. Look at that—he suddenly got himself into a sticky situation. Thank you for stepping up, Miss Silvers. There must be some way I can repay you. Actually, there is. Just—I'm looking for Horace Lover. Just tell me where he is, please. I'm—I'm—I'm I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm—I've I'm embarrassed myself enough for one day. Since you're a member of the Slug Club, I thought you might be able to help me figure out where to look. I can do you one better. I'll tell you exactly where he is. You know? You will? Of course, no matter where Slughorn hangs his hat, he can't go without my crystallized pineapple. He has me ship him a box a week. Lately, I've been sending them to him in at Bethelda Backshot's house. Bethelda Backshot? I've been to her house before. That's in Godric's Hollow. Precisely. Travel there and you'll find the wizard you want. He'll likely be in a velvet smoking jacket if you catch him at home. He has a fondness for them. Bring a bag of, bag of my crystallized pineapple with you, and I'm sure he'll be over the moon calf. Thank you, Mr. Flume. One more thing. In addition to his potions, Prowess Slughorn is quite good at transfiguration. He is a bit of a rascal when he is trying to stay hidden, so don't fall for his tricks. I want Mr. Flume. Is he going to be a chair? Please tell me he is going to be a chair. That would be so funny. I hope he is a chair. It's going to be. Yup. Tell me he is a chair. That's so funny. Hello, Professor Slughorn. I'm sorry to let myself in, but Ambrose Slughorn said I might find you here. I've come on behalf of Gwen of Joan. She was worried when you didn't come to her exhibition at Hogwarts. Why am I just talking to the wind? Ah, huh, doesn't seem to be anyone at home. Then again, Mr. Flume said Sagon was master of transfiguration. 
¿Empezar? For simply barging into Miss Bagshot's home, I am Sarahi Silver, sir. I am here on behalf of Gwyneth Jones. She was worried when you didn't come to her exhibition at Hogwarts. When there was no answer at the door, I entered to make sure nothing was wrong. Ah, Silvers, a hey, Silver card. Here you go again. I've been following the exploits of your family for some time. I hope it's just me and not freaking Peregrine. Your brother was an excellent student, and I hear your. Nah, forget about Peregrine. I don't want to know about Peregrine. You knew my brother. I want to ask, but like, what about me? I got this. You knew my brother? Of course, I've always drawn the attention of Hogwarts's most talented and interesting young students. If he hadn't suddenly vanished, I would. It, he would have made an excellent addition to my uh, list of acquaintances. Perhaps you would be willing to humor an old wizard. So this is just because I'm a Silvers. I feel extremely privileged. What's that? Tell me about yourself. If you're as interesting as the rest of your family, perhaps you have a future together. I literally just came here to get for Gunnar Jones because I she was worried. Like this is just because I'm a silver. I think I, I feel really privileged. I don't like it. What's the R glass for, by the way? I can't click it. Do those do, the, do those grains of sand change speed? What is that? Perhaps you've heard of a little thing called a bogart. What am I talking about? Students were still walking into the forest and I saw the mystery. I'm sorry, the mystery. The mystery. I can't speak. Despite the adventuring I've done, I've managed to keep my grades up. How I've done that, I have no idea. I'm quite curious to hear more about your adventures. Uh huh. Everybody is. Did you get along with your? Do you get along with your teachers? How about my replacement? I don't get along with anyone. Adults suck. Their glass must be enchanted in some way, but why? That couch is in Princess the back shot. I said, "Where is she anyway?" I still don't understand what the point of the eyeglass is. Brilliant, gripping. You're so clearly a student of note and a brave one at that. Mary Sue, I can't believe you discovered the cursed words and started closing them all on your own. Well, I had help, but thank you, sir. Friends also deserve a lot of credit. I hope you'll forgive my little eyeglass test. One never can be too careful with one's time. When someone's aboard, the sand in that hourglass turns quickly, so I can soon get back to important matters. It speeds up time, but when a conversation is quite stimulating, as in your case, the sand falls so slowly as to barely fall at all. Thank you, sir. That's a weird compliment, but okay. And now that I have your ear, I wonder if I might ask you, why didn't you come to Gwyneth's exhibition at Hogwarts? She was quite worried about you. Oh, ah, uh, well, you see. To be honest, it's best if I don't say. I respect that. I assume MC doesn't. It's all right. I can keep a secret. I'm afraid some doors are best left unopened. I trust you let an old man keep a few secrets of his own. Yeah, I won't push. Of course, Professor, I didn't come here to pry. I must say I appreciate your sensitivity in this area. Empathy, kindness—these are all the characteristics that can turn a talented wizard into a remarkable one. Thank you, sir. This 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 man sheds a lot of compliments, and at this point, I wonder if. Any of this means anything. Still, Andre and I spent so much time looking for you. I'd hate to return to Gwynog empty-handed. Perhaps you could give me a message to bring back to her. Oh, I'll do much more than that. I know where someone's just need for when someone's just need for great things, and you most certainly are, my dear. I'll send word to Gwynog myself, assuring her I'm all right, telling her the and telling her the brilliant news. What news is that? I'd like to invite you and your friend Andre to meet a, a few valued acquaintances, perhaps over dinner. I don't think I earned this, and Andre certainly didn't. You mean a slug club dinner? Andre will be so delighted. Brilliant! Historically, I've had slug club dinners at Hogwarts, but perhaps something else can be arranged just this once. Go fetch Mr. Egg. Who will I look for a location befitting a dinner of this magnitude? Once I've found it, I'll send word on where to meet me. We can discuss the details of your dinner. I don't think I earned this. And I don't have a nice dress, guys. Come on. Okay, so the game crashed before I could get to uh, the three broomsticks. It's fine now. Perhaps if I work here, I could get a discount on butterbeer. I don't think that's how it works. I saw Rosmonda polishing the fancy glasses earlier. It must be a special event coming up. I see. 
you must be one of the you must be the one Slughorn keeps talking about. Seems like you've gotten him all excited. I don't think I earned it. I don't feel good about this. Cause because this is so exciting. I know I shouldn't be surprised. And I can't believe you not only tracked down Slughorn, you got to send an invitation to a Slug Club dinner. It was a bit of a long shot at first. But thanks to Penny, I was able to find a Slug Club member who knew exactly where Slughorn was. I know you weren't sure if you'd get invited to join the Slug Club, but it certainly seems like we're about to. Still, I'm pessimistic. Just a dinner. It's only a dinner, aren't it? It could be a test or something else altogether. We shouldn't make any assumptions. Mm. You're right, I don't want to get overexcited. Huh. But I've got a good feeling about this. Here comes Slughorn now. Let's play it cool and see what he says. Hello. Hello, Miss Silver. It's a pleasure to see you again. And Mr. Ayu, what a delight to finally meet a young Kurdish talent I've heard so much about. I've spoken with Rosemar Tanj, the great to let us use the three boomsticks for our private dinner. Brilliant. You asked us to meet you here so we could discuss the details. But it sounds to me like everything is settled. Well, it was. I'm afraid I've had a snack and I'm not sure how to proceed. It is a bit complicated. It's a bit complicated. Perhaps you could help. Oh boy, what is it this time? Of course, still the strong point is the slogan. We'll figure something out. I don't care. Can we end this deal as cute? So two slug club members don't want to get together, and I assume one of them is Lucius Malfoy. The other one, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear the dinners are getting the enthusiastic responses you would hope for, Professor. Of course, many of our members are excited to get together, but two key slugs are holding things up. For starters, Lucius Malfoy is flat out refusing to attend. I can't imagine a slug club dinner without him, but he won't even tell me what the issue is. Lucius Malfoy. Uh... Perhaps a dinner with me and Silver would go better if he wasn't there. I'm sure that's not the case unless there's some issue between you and you see Lucius. Yeah, he just doesn't like us. Now to certainly put a damper on things, I wouldn't know how to proceed. You are not saying Lucius Malfoy refuses to come because something that's happened between you, are you? Ah, uh, but just tell him. Yes, we talked to Lucius and you're searching for you and instead of helping us, he sent us to the borough. Silver's isn't certain, but I think Malfoy sabotaged us because he doesn't want us in the slug club. Oh, Lucius would never do that, or at least not to students as promising as you. Yeah, according to him, we are not promising. He can be quite protective of the slug club, but I'm sure this was just a misunderstanding. I don't know, man. If we speak to them only on in, on my behalf and stay focused on the dinner, he'll change his tune. <clears throat> Sometimes he just needs a little nudge. Oh boy, here we go again. Can we? I don't want to talk to that man. What about the other guest you mentioned? Uh, let me worry about him. I'll look into the nature of his objections a bit more and fill you in when I can. For now, you should focus on Lucius. I'll look into it and let you know where I've located him. I don't want to talk to that guy again. Then one of you could go talk to him while the other helps you with the decorations. Ah. Ooh, decorations, I can do that. God damn it, Andre. Brilliant, you stay with Slughorn and start preparing this place for dinner. I'm gonna put up with Lucius again. This time I won't use any of his true powder. I knew he was being too helpful. That's fine. Okay, last part. This is a fairly short tale. You don't know what that's great. With your dinner just around the corner, Slughorn asks your help with a few notable Slug Club members before the festivities begin. Sure, great. Can I have a dress now, please? What is the point getting a nice dress after the club is over? I'll take a pretty bit when you get a chance, love. If you want to use the chimney again, I've got more work you can do. No thanks. Yes. Didn't see you. Didn't I see you earlier? You? <laughs> you did. You just didn't have to. What the hell? There you are, Mr. Lucius. Ah, you're back. Someone said you're refusing to come to the slug club dinner he's hosting. How wonderful that word gets around. Someone says he can't match a dinner without you. He's hoping I might be able to change your mind and get you to attend. I doubt it. You're saying nothing could be done to change your mind? Oh, there are plenty of things that could be done, but I doubt they would have pleaded to someone like you. Try me. If you insist, but don't say I didn't warn you. I'll tell you my reasoning. Perhaps then you can piece together the obvious solution. Don't attend. He just doesn't like me for some reason. Okay, bro, no, why do I get have to pick up, put up with this guy for eight hours? I don't care. I'm skipping. He just doesn't want to come because we are coming. So you're not coming to the dinner because you don't like me and Andre. Like, look at who's the adult here, by the way. That seems a bit immature, don't you think? Let's just say I'm distressed by the last protocol slogan, by the last protocol slogan is bringing to our slug club dinners. More distressing if he's holding a dinner in your honor. It's clear the great man is getting going soft. I knew it was better if the three of you never met, so I tried to keep that from happening. You sabotaged us, but I defended you. How could you? I only want what's best for the slug club. If you and your friend drag the club's reputation down, you can drag mine with you. I can't have that. Now that you know my reason for not attending, perhaps I figured. Perhaps you figured out how to save your precious dinner. 
వస్తాడ అంటే యాక్చువల్లీ హ్యావ్ ఐ టెల్ దట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ రైస్ నైస్ క్లోత్స్ ఆర్డ్రే మేడ్ అండ్ జస్ట్ గేవ్స్ రై బికాస్ ఐ లైక్ ఐ థింక్ యూ లుక్ గ్రేట్ ఇన్ దెమ్ అండ్ దిస్ డ్రెస్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ వేరింగ్ ఇస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఇన్ హెడ్ కార్ ఐ కాన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఇన్ఫర్ ఆల్ యూ డన్ టు మేక్ దిస్ ఇన్ అ హ్యాపీ కాస్ బ్రేక్ అప్ యు నో హౌ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బీయింగ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది స్లక్ క్లబ్ ఇస్ టు మీ లాస్ట్ టు డేస్ హవ్ బిన్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది బెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ మై లైఫ్ యు టుక్ ఎవరీ స్పెషల్ థింగ్ ఇన్ సమ్ హౌ మై డెడ్ బెటర్ దట్స్ సో స్వీట్ ఆర్డర్ సో ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు డూ ది సేమ్ ఫర్ యూ యు ఆర్ గివింగ్ మీ ఎ నైస్ డ్రెస్ and the best part is it's purple what do you mean ah. next dinner will be some of the visiting world's best and brightest if we make the right impression we could very well return to hogwarts official members of the slug club ah. so i've tailored an outfit just for you there are no options but that's fine this is just purple. this is it's a purple it's a nice purple dress it's it's simple and it's cute i love it you mean this is for me the thing is i could never fit into dresses like this i'm living vicariously through sarahi Yes, curse breaker. It's all yours. Before you try it on, let me tell you a bit about it. Oh, come on. No, I just want to put on the dress. Praha, please. I was really thinking like how it would not be productive at all to give us the dress after the Little Rescue is over. I didn't even realize that we could still get it from Andre. That usually only happens in dating quests. Nice dress. Nice dress. I am not keeping that hairstyle. Andre, it's magnificent. You've done fine work. I am not keeping that hairstyle. The hairstyle is getting changed immediately. Aha. You think so? It's so pretty. Give me, give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me. You are sure to impress even the stodgiest of slug club members in that. Thank you Andre. You really know how to make a young witch feel special. I'm glad you like it. Ah. Now that you've got the perfect outfit, it's time for the big dinner. I would like to make some changes if that's an option. You're right. Let's head up the three rooms and see what Slughorn has to has prepared. By the way, Andre, you put in the effort to make me look nice. I hope you put on nice clothes too. I changed my hairstyle. I was wondering whether to put a necklace on, but I uh, decided against it. Yeah, Andre is also wearing something nice. You know that it's kind of cute that we match because both of our favorite colors are purple. What? What? Cost breaker? I can hardly believe my eyes. Oh that's cute. Oh god, it looks so pretty. Oh, I want to see that dress. That's so cute. <laughs> He's bored. Wait, why is there a turkey? I mean, yes, Thanksgiving was today, right? Oh my god, I can't see. Mm. I am a uh, little sleepy. This is spectacular. Better than my wildest dreams. Yeah, it's really something. But praise should go to you, shouldn't it? You help with the decorations. I suppose I did. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, they're very pretty. Thank, like I didn't know Thanksgiving was yesterday. Like on Thursday, uh, the Turkey Day event was happening at Animal Crossing, and that's how I found out. Admiring my handiwork, I see. I called in a few favors, of course, but I still personally selected every element of this dinner. Except of course a fabulous outfit Mr. Silver. Thank you. I drew made the dress. It makes me feel nice. Whoever made it would be an extra addition to my collection of acquaintances that is. You're in luck because the person who made this outfit is standing right here. It was Andre. My 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 Mr. Rego, you show great promise on and off the Quidditch field it seems. I like when Andre makes me dress. And as for you Mr. Silver, it seems the rumors are true. You are a remarkable young witch and your skills in magic are top only by your social intelligence. That of which I have none of. The MC just kind of has it. How do you impress team? Impress Severus as much as anyone can. And I know Lucius presents a unique challenge, but you rose to the occasion. You can solve your differences, and thanks to you, the Slug Club remains intact. I knew you two were remarkable the moment I laid eyes on you. Thank you, sir. That is quite good. Now, now, why don't you enjoy the night and take this opportunity to circulate the party a bit? There are no children here. There are many important witches and wizards here who would like to say hello. I will talk to Gwen of Jones and I will talk to Ambrose's room. I'm not talking to anyone else. I want cake. Gwen, oh, she looks so pretty. She's got such a nice dress. We're a long way from the Quidditch exhibition, aren't we, Silvers? <laughs> I'm an idea switch really, a visionary. I don't know that means. I don't know everyone here, but they're all quite posh, aren't they? Can I just interact with Andre and Gwen? Hi, Mr. Flume. How are you? Happy to help. Please to please tickle to talk with you. <laughs> I like you. He's fun. I know it's not entirely like um exact but now if if these random npcs are like i'm not saying that 
Adam and PC are important characters, but they are, if they are in the club, then they must be important for some reason, right? I mean, I know Slughorn's a bit soft, but he has invited these people for a reason. Oh, how nice it is to see all my acquisitions in one place again. Oh yeah, he collects people. I forgot. Yes, Slughorn isn't the best guy. He's just, he's kind. And that's the only comparison he has to say. Just that he's nice enough, not kind, sorry. He's nice enough. But other than that, he just collects people. I see already is dressed for the occasion, Silvers. What does what, what does he say if, he, if I don't wear the dress? What a treat to see you again, Sarai. You too, Mr. Flume. You are a nice man. I'm so glad I had this opportunity to thank you for all you've done. Gwenog is the best. She is very sweet. I suppose the dinner is not a total disaster. Anything that isn't a total disaster according to this man is a compliment. Well, looks like everyone's having fun. Aha, I'm glad to see my instincts are right. You two fit in perfectly with the illustrious group. We're literal children, but okay. And that's why I'd like to take this opportunity to formally invite you both to join the slug club. Ah. See, Kerspeaker, what did I tell you? You didn't think we'd get invited to join the slug club, but I knew we had a chance, given all the work you did. I'm so honored, sir. Of course, I'll join. And you, Sarai Silvers, after you all you've seen of the slug club, would you, wouldn't you like to be one of us? Now, I know this is not the best thing. The Slug Club? It's just fan service for this year's rescue. And honestly, Sarai again has no reason to be suspe sus. Suspicious of this. Sure, why not? Of course, sir, I'd love to be a member. Yeah, I know it's not the best option, but uh, I'm, I really don't care. Then it's official. I'll try to make it easier for you to find me in the future should you have any gifts you'd like to send. And before I forget, it's not a party without a present. Welcome to the Slug Club, Silvers. Where is the full stop? That pisses me off. I bet a soul gift for you, Silvers, as a thank you for all you've done. And you don't have it. Oh, there it is. Why do you have to throw the glass? I hope you'll think of it when you wear it. I modeled it after the other glass I used at our first meeting. I've never given a sand. I've never seen my sand move more slowly. Thank you, Mr. Slogan. It's lovely. Yes, yes, it is. Now get out there and enjoy this lovely dinner I put together. After all, it's for you, Kurs Prega. I like the dress. Don't care much for the pendant. The pendant is made especially to fit on this particular dress, so it's not going to go with anything else. Therefore, it's pretty much useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Horace Lagon is not the best guy. He collects people like object. I know all that. I just straight up don't care. I don't care for this TLSQ enough to care for what decisions I make in this TLSQ. So I just like, sure, why not? I don't care. And that's why I, I don't. Because if there's anything this TLSQ has given me, it's the gift of a nice dress. That's it for this episode. Kind of uneventful for a TLSQ. But I suppose that's fine. A bit of a shorter TLSQ than usual, which is also fine. I don't want to edit too much. Tell me down in the comments what your decision was about the Slug Club. For me, like these kind of things are not even canon. Like, Sarathi does not have to do everything in the goddamn planet. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, you might want to just like the video. I have not said that in such a long time. If you are new, subscribe. I have not said that in a long time either. I always forget to say these things at the end of videos. But seriously, I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next week, okay? Hopefully the next week will be easier on me. Oh boy. Bye everyone. Have a nice day. And I hope your weeks go easier too. Bye-bye. <laughs>